Hello, ALS Chronicle family. Uh, I just had a little bit on my mind. Um, I was just thinking about a lot of things that were going on. And just like, can you imagine, you know, in your life, like, this is what I was thinking. You feel a twinge in your body. And you just chalk it off to getting older and you continue to work and you um, taking care of your family can you imagine that going to church going to work etc and you know you're not thinking about it and then can you imagine losing a lot of weight for no apparent reason and you don't exercise and you go to the doctor and you let the doctor know you've lost 20 30 pounds in a month and they say it's okay can you imagine your back starting to give out like when you try to stand up straight and when you stand up straight your body flops over can you imagine needing your friends to pull down your the visor of your car while you take them to lunch and no one really we don't pay attention because this is what we normally do can you imagine in the winter time driving your grandchildren around pressing on the brake but you're really pressing on the gas and you end up in a ravine can you imagine that can you imagine your body not doing what it's supposed to do? Can you imagine having your 10-year-old grandchild put on your wig to go to work? Help you put on your jacket? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine going to the doctor over and over with no answers? Can you imagine falling, hitting your head because your legs are too weak and being told there's nothing we can do and then time continues to go on. Can you imagine being told you have ALS? Can you imagine using a walker Because your legs don't want to do what your mind tells them to. Can you imagine someone feeding you? Because you can't reach your hands to your face. Can you imagine your dignity being stripped? Because now modesty is out the window. Can you imagine falling on the floor, hitting your head? Can you imagine having to trust someone totally to feed you, to bathe you, to clean you, to scratch wherever it itches? Brush your teeth. Wipe your bottom. Can you imagine that? Your mind is still intact. But your body is betraying you. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine having problems swallowing your favorite food like lasagna or Szechuan shrimp? Something like that. Can you imagine that? Because the little particles want to go down in the throat, into the lungs, and not in the esophagus. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine having to be monitored by a baby monitor, just in case something goes wrong? Can you imagine having to have a tube placed in your abdomen to be fed? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine having to be placed on a machine that helps you breathe 24-7?
24 hours a day. Not being able to breathe on your own. And hoping somebody pays attention when it's not on correctly. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine when you can't clear your throat <clears throat> and you need a machine to help you cough? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine knowing that this disease does not have a cure and you're part of it? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine wanting to spend with your family all the days that you can and you can't get up to run with them? I'm not trying to bring you down, but can you imagine that? Sometimes these things happen like quickly. This All this happened to Renee within a year. Can you imagine all of this? And can you imagine taking care of someone like that? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine waking up at 1 and 2 in the morning to take care of someone like this? And it's all because of love. And that's what I do. I'm a caregiver. And I take care of Renee. And I'm doing it out of love. And i thanking God that he has given me this to do. I didn't mean to bring anybody down, but I just wanted you to think, can you imagine, you know, we have to be grateful for the things that we have because you never know where life is going to take us. You all have a wonderful day. I just want you all to think about what's going on in this process. Continue to keep us in prayer. And we thank you for supporting us. Thank you for praying for us. Um, and we're going to continue to fight for a cure for this disease. Um, you all have a beautiful, blessed day.